Before we start talking with Debbie Lines about Mind Your Health and, and using your mind really to help your health, quick little personal aside. I've been here eh, 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. You've been here longer than that. Mm -hmm. We'll just say that. This is the first time we've ever done an interview. I can't believe it. I was so excited yeah. today. I told Susan and Jeremy, I'm yeah. so excited to actually sit down and chat there with you. you. Right. We're in groups together. Yes, yes. But yeah, we know each other mm -hmm. and all of that. And we party a little bit together. But anyway, that's Imagine another story. Imagine that. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. well, let's, mind your, let's mind our health. Exactly. And let's talk about something that we think about in, in young people. Uh, and we diagnose it, and we treat it, and when we get all excited about it, literally. Uh, but but it also affects uh, grown-ups, and yes. that's ADHD. Exactly. I think attention deficit hyperactivity disorder mm -hmm. is so... Um, we're excellent about diagnosing it and in children, it's overlooked in adults. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you a couple of things. It used to be that there was ADD, attention deficit yep. disorder, and then ADHD mm -hmm. with the hyperactivity. Now it's under one umbrella. Okay. There are two types, and, and this will help you. Right. There's inattentive, mm -hmm. okay, and then there's the hyperactive. So when we look at adults specifically, we are tending to look at the inattentive type of attention deficit disorder. Here's what that looks like. Yeah, what's that like? It looks like I can't find my keys. I just put my phone down. I have no idea where it is. Wait a minute. We'll do the interview in one second. Let me run out. I saw Jeremy just walk in. It looks like a lot of um, shiny penny. Oh, shiny penny. Squirrel. Scatterbrain. Ex that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what it looks like. And the interesting part is we are neurodivergent. Neurotypical kids can sit and carry on an interview mm -hmm. with focus and attention, okay? Folks with ADD might be a little more antsy or distracted. Mm -hmm. Are they still hearing you? Yes. And so I think that's the interesting piece of this. And one of the things you and I chatted about ahead mm -hmm. of time was most of the time that adults have attention deficit disorder, they don't need to be treated with medication because they have learned workarounds. They have learned to use their attention deficit disorder for good. All right, let's do that. For, mm -hmm. for those of us who are still working on that, what's a good workaround? I think a good work around a good work around is taking a deep breath and becoming mindful. And all mindful and that word gets thrown around means being present. Mm -hmm. It's you and I being present right now, really being focused on each other. It's recognizing the difference between important and fun. Oftentimes folks with ADD will choose fun sure. rather than important, which leads to procrastination. Okay. Not a bad or a good thing. No, no. It just, is just what it is. A different thing. Yeah. Th that's yeah. exactly right. How about slowing down? I, I tend to get excited and, and and then move too much and that sort of thing. If I just slow down, just whoa. Mm -hmm. Let it breathe. Mm -hmm. Does that help? Uh, one hundred percent. And what we know now is that taking a breath, yeah. slowing down, puts pressure on your vagus nerve. Okay. Ooh, I have a vagus nerve. Uh, yes, you do. All right. It's powerful. <laughs> okay. It sends cortisol and adrenaline through your body. Will and it help me playing blackjack? Yes, it will help oh, you okay. playing blackjack. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying get rid of it at oh, okay. all. all right. I'm just all saying right. know that it's there. <laughs> But when you take a deep breath and you pull your belly back to your spine, yeah. take a deep breath in and relax, it just settles all that down. And for a busy mind and a busy brain, you can't help it. It will still settle it down for that second. And the attention deficit disorder is a, is a function of your prefrontal cortex where you're thinking. So oftentimes you have to think about settling down because oh, we get absolutely. right do you too do you oh, have yeah yeah i've got to think about it because it's not my general tendency do you think you have attention deficit disorder no i don't I, I think i'm just a little bit more hyper than the next person but no i, I don't think does I it give you motivation yes. yes does it give you energy sure yes does it keep you as a lifelong learner and interested oh yeah absolutely so when people think of ADD and they think of what does it do for you or how does it hurt you, I think it's the way we view it, from what lens okay. we look through. And because I think for you and probably for me, 
it's actually been wonderful. Yeah. All right. See, there we go. Our first interview together, and I want to do the second. You got it. That because, sounds great. Because I want to take this even further. Debbie Lines joining us. Uh, we've got much more ahead on the WHHI Daily News.